my beautiful bugs, and welcome back to another episode of Spirity. So in the last episode, we ended up taking care of the hiking trail prankster, I guess you could call it, and cleared that so that Clarence and anybody else could end up going up into the hiking trail and not be bothered by anybody trying to talk to them or, you know, scaring them or anything like that. Now, originally, I was going to end up doing Kim's phone thief. However, over the last several recording sessions, I've had some really weird things happening. And I had no clue really what was going on. And so I just recorded the little tidbits that happened because I knew at some point it probably would end up, you know, ending in some kind of spirit. So... I'm going to go ahead and show you those clips and, you know, so I can show you what was going on. What the? Did you see that in the top right corner? What was that about? I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure. I keep hearing something eating, but I have, yeah, I have no clue what is going on. Weird. Okay. <laughs> okay, what is... Oh, oh, I see. Oh, it's up in my... It's in my stamina bar. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Oi, you there. What are you eating Mantis's moologs? Oh, that's what... Oh, that's what he was doing. Oh, my gosh. Didn't even notice that. Hey, hey, get back here. Don't worry, Mantis. I know what to do the next time we catch him. Nice. I have no idea how you thought you could get away with stealing from us. Plus, is your head hollow? Because your chewing was like a train horn bellowing in a tunnel. If I don't move, maybe they'll think I'm unconscious. <laughs> oh, nice. Hmm, it's not moving. Maybe I need to give it a little whack. <laughs> no, no, I'm awake. I'm awake. Just startled, that's all. Somehow I seem to recall being struck by a uh, large blunt weapon in the past. <laughs> no more hitting. Yes, no more hitting. <laughs> so, hi, hey, it's me, Wanyan. Do you remember that name? Wan, oh, Wanyan. Wow, it's been a while, which is why my body has been free from bruises. <laughs> Oh, nice. I heard that. <laughs> nice. So we got a new spirit. Oh, oh, it's adorable. What I mean to say is I remember. I was known as Hoban. Nice. So new spirits. We finally figured out who was munching on our moologs. You see, Mantis, you've got to be tough on these spirits. Oh, they'll insult you or rob you blind. Think nothing of my words, dear Wanyan. They are but the ravings of a fool. But for my thievish actions, I must apologize. I must have become lost, a fate worse than disappearing altogether. For your help in my recovery, I give you my thanks. It seems his silver tongue wasn't bitten off. I didn't look like, or yeah, it didn't look like it was thanks that you were eating up there. You'd better give us something more substantial if you don't want to. As you said, disappear all the, aw, oh, what yawn. Of, of course, I, I hear you loud and clear. I know just the thing. <laughs> Why, thank you. Oh, and the bathhouse is open again. Come by and share some more of your shadily obtained goods. We won't question where they're from. <laughs> Hee -hee. Just like old times. Until then. <laughs> I got a chicken doll. Okay. Oh, that little, he is. <laughs> Wan yawn. All right, I guess, I guess we have a chicken now. Hold on, I think I spotted our old friend, the lead poisoner. Do, do what now? <laughs> oh, hey, okay. Hi, oh, uh, yes, I remember, okay. How's the new home working out for you, Grams? Oh, I was wondering when this was gonna end up happening. It looks a bit cramped. <laughs> ah, my friends, nonsense. There's plenty of space in here. Actually, you've come at the perfect time. I've been thinking about starting a business, a pawn shop of sorts. Ooh, you can sell me things that you no longer need and I can in turn sell them to other spirits. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> mm, that's not a bad idea, Gramps. Mantis here has a bad habit of accumulating all sorts of Really? <laughs> oh, I thought you might like that idea. Er, coin cat. <laughs> One human's junk is another spirit's treasure. It's Wanyan, Gramps. Wanyan. <laughs> 
Yeah, anyway, let's go, Mantis. Stop by here anytime you want to get rid of or sell something. Hopefully, he'll manage to remember to pay you. <laughs> nice. All right, well, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna be like, hey, so that's what happened. And then as soon as I, yeah, get into this area, that ends up happening. So, <laughs> so yeah, we, we got visited by two spirits, apparently, this episode. So, that's awesome. Now, with that new spirit, that means that we could end up making a run in the bathhouse. But before we end up doing that, and especially considering, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Clarence, come back here. Let me talk to you. Uh, yeah, there we go. Be careful when you next chat with, okay, yep. Yeah. All right. I wanted to make sure, because I found out that one of the reasons why things in the book aren't showing up is because I'm not talking to the people to finish up. I actually ended up completing two more of the quests for the actual book because of the fact that I ended up talking to people and it wrapped up their quest, even though they, oh, what is that? Oh, is that, oh, that's a stick. <laughs> I am so distracted this episode. Oh my gosh. But, um, so I have to finish, you know, I have to talk to them. So even though they're not on the board, if they're not going into the book, then I need to talk to the people so that we can then end up doing that. So what I did in between episodes, I, I think, I believe I had mentioned it last episode was that I was going to go ahead and pay for the large bathhouse. Now, if we come up here, as you can see, we've got the large bath. Now, luckily there's nothing in here. So I do not need Bob. Bob apparently left. So Bob is not, yeah, is in here. So I don't know what happened to him. So apparently he's only, I think spring and summer maybe. Um, so not hundred percent sure. Now I think they made mention also of heaters because of freezing in the winter. So we'll have to see how that works. I don't know if I'm going to need, um, any of the heaters for like in here, or if that's just the outdoor ones, which we haven't unlocked yet. So yeah, so this is super exciting. So we got, uh, two spirits dealt with. So we got the pawn shop basically. And then we ended up dealing with the, the, yeah, the spirit who was eating our moolocks. Super happy to finally have that out of the way because yeah, now I can actually keep all of them, which is, you know, <laughs> which is lucky. So with that and open space. So tonight should be definitely a lot easier to handle. I'm going to go ahead and run a, a night at the bathhouse. definitely a interesting night. So finally, second night, we did get Hoban. So he finally showed up. And so, yeah, he does seem rather tame, though there seemed to be, yeah, like I put it next to, I, I can't remember what her name was, but the, um, the older spirit with the twigs and the bird in her hair. 
and they seem fine. And then later on, they're not so fine. So I'm wondering if there's something going on with Phineas, like, or not Phineas. Phineas is the pawn shop um, with Hoban that makes him not where it makes him his like characteristics or something like that change which we know happens because like the the um the chicken sings and so that changes how people react to them and all that so definitely interesting i i'll have to experiment a little bit more with you know with them to try to figure out what is going on with that now in terms of next episode hopefully nothing else happens and we can actually get to kim's and we did add another, there was another spirit quest that showed up because I leveled up. So we definitely have plenty of stuff to do. Um, and then in between episodes, I'm going to work on getting, I think it's 15,000. So we could open up the, I think it's the left wing. That's the last interior bath I think we have is over in that area. At least from what I can see from inside the, the actual bath house. So I'm hoping to unlock that. Though we'll probably have to unlock it and then also unlock the best before we can actually use it. Kind of like we did with the stuff to the to the north. So yeah, so that was definitely fun. We finally found out who was munching on our moologs. So we can now keep all of our money <laughs> instead of having somebody munch on it. And we now have a new pawn shop that we can end up selling stuff to. So that should definitely be fun. So I definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the mantis icon to subscribe. Then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.